So this is Gamazine. Say hello to my bacterial friends. Together, we saw how vacuum toilets worked on board, as well as our biological sewage plant in action. And if you can remember, we had bacteria that helped us decompose raw sewage in the sewage plant. But did you know that these bacteria are not only in the treatment plant, but all over our black and gray water system? So let's talk about that first. Sewage on board can be classified in these two types. Black water and gray water. First, let's look at black water. It's basically raw sewage with heavy amounts of bacteria that can produce diseases. And then there's gray water that is relatively clean water with traces of soap, detergent, food particles and dirt. So let's check out where these waste waters come from. Black water comes from any toilets or urinals as well as any wastewater coming from the hospital, which may be contaminated. And because the heavy amounts of bacteria that these wastewaters have, this type of sewage enters our biofilter bacteria chamber and goes through the full treatment process to minimize the harm it can do to the environment. Gray water, on the other hand, is wastewater that comes from drains connected to sinks, drain scuppers inside of the ship, washing machines, and of course, our showers. This type of sewage usually has harmful chemicals and emulsifiers that we cannot have flowing through our treatment plant. Due to poor vacuum generation at our vacuum pumps and our bacteria friends dying because of these chemicals. Therefore, these gray water drain lines usually go directly to our sterilization tank for sodium hypochlorite dosing or to our holding tank when we are near port. So how do the Gamazine family help us? Let's look first at Gamazine 700 FN. It comes in powder form and we use it to give our biological sewage treatment plant, as well as the holding tank, more helpful aerobic bacteria. These bacteria are heavy duty bacteria. They digest grease, fats, paper, proteins, and other organic compounds, leaving little odor behind. To dose Gamazine 700 FN, we do as follows. First, it depends if you're on a merchant cargo vessel or a passenger vessel. On merchant cargo vessels, to activate the plant after a maintenance, you should dose one kilogram with 10 to 15 liters of warm water. Mix it and then let it set for 15 minutes. Afterwards, go to the nearest toilet of the treatment system, which on my vessel was in the engine room. Dump it and then flush. This will allow it to go straight to the sewage treatment plant. On the other hand, on passenger vessels, since there's a lot more people using the toilet, the following formula is recommended, which takes in count the size of the holding tank, which in turn is usually built with the amount of people the ship is designed to carry. For example, on a passenger cruise vessel with a sewage tank of 100 cubic meters, for the initial activation dose, we would use 50 grams per cubic meters times the size of the tank, which is 100 cubic meters, and it'll give us 5,000 grams. We divide that by 1,000 to get kilograms, and we get 5 kilograms to activate the sewage tank. Afterwards, for the plant, we would do weekly doses of 10 grams per cubic meter 
times 100 for the size of the tank and then we divide it by a thousand to reach kilograms. So every week we would use one kilogram on the sewage plant. Then we have Gamazyme DPC or drain pipe cleaner. They are other bacterias that come in these packs. They are specialized to stick on the interiors of drain pipes and break down any organic compounds that might try to clog them. This is especially important in the galley, which is what we call the kitchen on the ship, as well as provide schedule cleaning in all the drains in the accommodation to ensure our pipelines are all maintained and reduces the occurrence of nasty odors coming out from the drains. Dosing of DPC is similar to 700 FM. We dissolve one packet in 10 liters of warm water. Stir and then leave for 15 minutes so that the bacteria can activate. Then we add half a liter to each drain to minimize the risk of clogging by organic materials. Remember though, that any hard and inorganic materials will clog the system. So be careful of what you flush and let go through the filters inside the scuppers. And finally, we have Gamazine BTC or bathroom toilet cleaner, which we place in each cabin. Like I previously said, detergents kill bacteria in our treatment plant. But of course, we must clean our toilets. So we use Gamazine BTC to do just that. This chemical cleans our toilet bowl. It is not harmful to the marine environment and of course also adds millions of special bacteria boosters which will go straight to our pipeline and treatment plant. And please remember, before manipulating any chemicals, study them with the material safety data sheet to check any precautions and emergency first aid. But for Gamazine, just use some eye protection and gloves. You're good to go. Finally, another quick monthly maintenance on our black and gray water lines is to flush them with fresh water to reduce the amount of sediments on the line and the proper draining of the entire accommodation. As you can see, life in the engine room isn't always so awesome and cool working on machines and stuff. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit dirty, but you have to admit that it's pretty interesting to see how everything is related. And another reason why we use Gamazine and these other biological cleaners instead of the common household acids and degreasers that you have at home is because, as you know, in our pipeline, these bacteria are also there, helping to digest any grease and organic matter. If we use these acids or highly corrosive liquids, then what we're doing is actually killing those bacteria in the pipeline, as well as causing corrosion. And these pipelines are not so easily to replace, especially if you're at sea and leaving an entire section of the vessel without a toilet. Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe you're gonna have to share it and you don't want that. And now for a little bit of extra information. Do you ever wonder why in vacuum toilet systems you have this sign that says, please only water, sewage, and toilet paper that's biodegradable. Do not use detergents, acids, do not put in plastics, do not put cloth, and do not put in anything rough, solid, like seeds. This is because this affects the vacuum generation in our vacuum pumps. Because if you put soaps and detergents, it creates a foam 
that imp impedes the, the vacuum creation. And if you start using seeds, plastics, and other rough material, then you can straight up clog the impeller. And do you really want the engine newbie to disassemble and clean up your mess? Please don't. So what's the problem of sewage remaining on the line? Well, believe it or not, if you leave untreated sewage inside the pipeline, it can even become as hard as cement after many years of just being stuck. You can have a pipe that has very small diameter and eventually you could even cut off a whole section of pipe just to restore the system. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that regular maintenance should be done. Don't forget about it just because it seems like you're just flushing some bacteria down the toilet or putting them down the scupper. It's a small job, but even small jobs are important. And that's it. Another video done about the sewage treatment plant. However, there's another one coming about how to create a concentrated solution of sodium hypochlorite from solid pills because our fourth chamber sterilization tank uses a liquid dosing tank. It'll be pretty interesting, in my opinion. However, that's it for now. Success and nothing else, and I hope to see you next time. See you later.